Hello there. In the previous video, we saw how to purchase and activate CB Exchange Servicing. In this video, we are going to see how to configure CB Exchange Servicing to synchronize between only two Exchange users. So let's go. For synchronizing two Exchange users, log in to your SAS Portal account. Go to Configuration. CB Exchange Servicing and Pair Configuration and then press Create New. Let's set up the first Exchange user participating in the synchronization pair. Click on using Direct Credentials and then type in your Exchange Server URL. It's very straightforward. You put in the Exchange Server URL followed by EWS forward slash exchange dot ASMX. Now the first user is an Office 365 Exchange user. Therefore, the server address will be outlook.office365.com forward slash EWS forward slash exchange dot ASMX. And the server version, of course, will be Office 365. The username and the email address will be the same your exchange user email address and of course the password and to be sure we test the connection now let's set up the second exchange user again we click on using direct credentials and the second user is a 2013 on-prem exchange user and the server version will be 2013 the root username in this case will be the name of the user. And the root user email address, of course, is going to be the email address of that user. Finally, the password. Great, we successfully configured two exchange users to participate in a synchronization process. Now we're going to show you what options we have when it comes to synchronization. Inbox, sent items, deleted items, drafts, calendars, tasks or contacts. And from here, we can decide how often the service should check for updates. Please note that smaller intervals are better and faster, but it will increase the traffic. Then of course, the start date. Please note that you can only enter this once. You will not be able to edit this again. For example, if you decide to start synchronizing from the 1st of October, then you won't be able to change it to any other date. Now, synchronization could be one of three ways, either first to second, which means items created on the first exchange user will be synchronized with the second, second to first, which <laughs> would be the other way around, or bi-directional, which means Items created on either exchange user will be synchronized with one another. Please note that also synchronization type cannot be changed later on. So the last option here is include subfolders, which is effectively when you start to synchronize the mail folders or inbox sent items, deleted items, drafts. And then we click on save to save this pair. And as you can see, this sync pair was saved. So we can edit this at any time from here. As you can see, the start date and the synchronization type are disabled. I did mention that might happen. But we can add more items to this sync pair and of course all items will be synchronized from that start date. And not the dates that you add them. So since we didn't make any changes, let's click back to the list. For configurating the service, synchronize between multiple exchange users, be sure to check out the next video. Thank you for watching.